Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and today I'm going to show another nice victory of Magnus Carlsen and exactly now Magnus Carlsen surprised his opponent who is uh, Ter Shakian Samuel rated around 2500 and of course we are following World Rapid uh, Championship 2022 and Magnus Carlsen is black and he surprised him with a first move and he played move e6 so I can't remember since I saw uh, last time Magnus Carlsen playing uh, French defense maybe we should call French attack French um, opening is a super solid opening sometimes it's a passive but it's up to, up to you how you are playing chess and if you are enjoying counter attack or counter blows it's a solid it's a strong and it's good weapon against anybody but in a top gm level this is a not very very common opening so french defense why not and magnus carlsen decided to play one of the sharpest variation with move bishop in g4 e5 c5 and a3 okay now um, White should enjoy two bishops advantage at the other side. Um, he is not happy owner of bad pawns. C2 and C3 pawns are weak and they will be weak till end of the game. So white has to be active because pawn weaknesses should compensate it on him peace activity and of course um, after knight c6 uh, giving g4 is the best move uh, white is attacking a weak pawn on g7 and he is waiting for the right black's answer black should uh, play two moves one of them is g6 and second is king f8 I think that uh, the most solid move is g6. Of course, still um, we are watching typical bad French um, light squares, bishop on c8. And what is good to tell you that here are too many uh, dark squares weaknesses. So black has some issues as well and uh, it's good to see that Magnus Carlsen is not going to defend only uh, his weaknesses but he is going for attack immediately after move h4 he came queen a5 and he's attacking c3 pawn one of the strongest chess plan in our chess game is to attack opponent weaknesses and without any doubt pawn on c3 is weak um, bishop d2 and now magnus stopped all threats because uh, threat move h5 it's it's uh, nearly stopped by answer g5 so h5 it's not a danger and uh, maybe uh, black's plan is to go queen a4 to attack another pawn weakness and for this reason white is playing strongly now move a4 too many pawns moves in the opening but every move makes sense uh, c4 and this is a classical and typical move in french defense queen side is blocked and now is up to white if he will be able to be active or if he will lose <laughs> all pawns on queen side remember that c2 pawn and c3 pawn are weaknesses and uh, white has to be active but careful not to lose too many pawns uh, white played knight f3 and that's okay bishop d7 and queen f4 uh, maybe uh, white believed that uh, pawn on f7 is weak and of course he is right and uh, he is going to stop right now black uh, to go for a long castle so how to go for a long castle and not to lose a pawn on f7 that's a question and i have for you a really simple answer black played rook h7 and 
Maybe this is not the strongest rook on the world, but is doing good job. Is uh, defending for now pawn on f7 and is uh, giving time black to go for long castle. That's important to bring all pieces back to game and uh, maybe to fight for activity. So rook h7 with aim to go for long castle and exactly now happened long castle. Knight g4 and rook f8. <laughs> Looks like everything is going about pawn on f7 but uh, maybe um, that's not only defending move but here should be one day move f6 or f5 and black is a showing first sign of activity. White is attacking on f7, but at the other side, white has to be careful because you know, just watch uh, white's army. Two rooks are still um, doing nothing. This light squares bishop is nicely blocked, and uh, only two white pieces are active and doing some work. That's not enough and uh, black has to be careful. It's not time to make a mistake and of course it's not time to waste a move. Um, Bishop e2 and now Magnus came back. Of course um, I agree with him that this queen on a5 did a good job but uh, there is nothing to play on queen side and because black played a long castle he is not ready to play on the right side of the wing and he is trying to open king side and move f6 or f5 is of course on the air. So now maybe still this position is with slight advantage for white but what I am missing um, in a white position is some kind of activity or plan because Magnus Carlsen has a plan to play move f5, g5 and to strike uh, white's kingside position. For white it will be difficult to find the right square for his king because everywhere where this piece is going should not be in safe um, position. So um, maybe white's position is shaking and uh, let's follow this game till end because we will see beautiful victory of Magnus Carlsen. Anyway, if you are enjoying this video and if you are enjoying this game, feel free and press like or press follow and made my day. Stay by me. Thank you very much and now let's come back. Now uh, white came back to g3 he is ready maybe after move f5 to attack a new weakness so uh, Magnus has to be careful or maybe he should not be careful because he is playing immediately now strong move f5 uh, White believe that uh, this pawn is weak maybe he's attacking once twice and who knows maybe for one more time because now exactly white took on f6 and now i think that he is not playing the best move at all uh, you know uh, white is playing without rooks white's king is still in the center and um, for one pawn that's not enough let's watch this beautiful square on e4 let's watch threat uh, to um, this queen on uh, g3 pawn on f2 and i think that even this queen is coming back to a5 there are too many threats and white is not ready to defend everything because as you could see white rooks are doing nothing so maybe mm, let's show variation if uh, white is taking on f6 i still believe that the black is absolutely okay and only white should be worried of this position uh, that's the reason maybe uh, white believe that um, this pawn will survive everything, uh, knight e4 and rook h8. So uh, 
Onim black is active. Onim black is active and I believe that the activity is the most important chess plan. If you are active, you are playing for victory and your opponent is passive. If you are active, your opponent has problems and in a hard position, everybody is making mistakes. So it's important to push our opponents for defense and then to wait for the blunder. Now uh, happened the blunder. Uh, now white played rook, uh, bishop f3 and that's a losing move. The best answer here used to be move f3. And after knight g3, I think that uh, this position is double edge. It's double edge because uh, white's got extra pawn, but it's under pressure. Now it's question what's more, if the material or activity, but because we are following only a rapid game, say for half an hour game, everything is possible and time here is uh, really important. And um, I think the results of this game is open. But uh, White played a mistake and this is a typical mistake if um, somebody is in a defense, you know. Um, to defend position is difficult and it's not far from to make a mistake. And uh, sometimes um, we should surprise our opponent and Magnus surprised. He played beautiful move e5. That's amazing move, you know, another pawn for free or not for free, but it's important to believe that uh, everything is hanging because now this bishop is super strong and hopefully you remember since I told you last time that this is a typical bad French bishop but now this bishop is super strong and is um, winning a new life. Uh, what's happened if uh, white will take on e4? I'm sure that Magnus will take on g4 and here he will take on d4 and queen d7. I believe that this position is nearly won for black. Why? Because this position is open. And in open position, player with stronger pieces has a huge advantage. And of course, still we are speaking about the difference between white pieces and black pieces. And um, for black, it's not hard to play rook f7, rook f8, to take on c3 and I'm sure that uh, white's position is difficult. Just remember that black is Magnus Carlsen and Magnus is a great chess player who is enjoying to win games like this. So that's a great advantage and I'm sure that since now only Magnus is playing for victory. Here he played the first mistake. As I told you, he is not making mistakes, but I'm sure that he should take on g4 and that's nearly winning. Bishop f4, take on h4 and here g5, uh, knight taking g3 and g4 is a winning. Why this move is winning? Because Fred uh, check on h1 is a winning uh, at least one piece and that was something what Magnus missed but don't be angry to Magnus I am sure that he was absolutely sure that he is winning in every variation and even he is not playing the strongest variation at all he is still great so he played a, a queen a5 that's of course Fred. Uh, the best answer um, here is uh, to go to f1 immediately to leave this dangerous pin. But okay, uh, white played rook a3, but still that's a big, big question. What exactly good for a white is doing this rook on a3? I still believe that this rook is without any life on a3 and without any future. That's really bad to have such bad rooks, one on h1 and second on a3. Bishop f5 makes sense and now final, final losing move, uh, short castle. 
maybe the last hope here should be move g3. Just believe that this position will hold everything. I don't know if it will hold. I have to move d4 and now to take on c3 and short castle. Absolutely messy position, but at the other side still white is fighting and there is no reason to believe that white is losing immediately. So terrible difficult position. But uh, that's another story because white finally played short castle and now let's watch what Magnus is going to do. Now firstly he came to b8 because a threat of course is to take on g4 and then to take this piece. That's a first threat. If Magnus is winning peace, Magnus is winning a game. So um, to take on e4, that's a game over. Because two hanging pieces mean that one of them is losing. Uh, just remember to, to watch this rook on a3. This is a typical lost rook. <laughs> nearly while is not playing without one piece but without rook as well so bad piece placement in a white position um, difficult position in defend and um, i think that everything wrong is <laughs> in a white position so white played bishop g5 now one exchange and uh, rook took on h4 first threat is of course checkmate on h1 uh, this is the lost rook, this is a weak piece and uh, <laughs> let's watch these pawns. Still, these pawns are weak and um, they are waiting for black's attack. What's happened? Uh, G3 and I think that here Magnus is going to miss another beautiful victory. So I think that uh, the winning move here is rook h5. Now to exchange on uh, g4 check here check and of course that's a simple <laughs> extra rook for black magnus missed a second chance to win this game but nobody is perfect and even magnus <laughs> missed this variation i think that magnus is great of course he took on g4 still good move and now he played bishop uh, e4 with a beautiful threat checkmate on h1. f3 uh, is going to stop immediately this threat but it's going to have another chance to black is a check and on a3 finally <laughs> is hanging rook so check thank you very much for the rook and now uh, Magnus is probably winning because um, all weaknesses are falling down and what's more black is without any counterplay counterplay is important and without any counterplay white is only waiting for the last <laughs> threat for the last uh, mate so now uh, white took on d5 uh, maybe maybe bishop d1 used to be uh, stronger but <laughs> that's a tough position and uh, Check on c2. Uh, now that's a beautiful threat. Checkmate on h1. Of course, just to take here is a immediately checkmate. So this piece is not hanging, and Magnus is enjoying this position. Check on e4, bishop f3, and um, let's see how many bones are falling down and how many bones um, are giving chance to black <laughs> to win this game. So Queen took on g6, knight d4 and only last three black pieces are attacking and the difference between <laughs> white pieces and black pieces is the reason why black is winning. I think that even black was missing some beautiful winning chances at the end he was a stronger chess player and of course he is winning this game without any any difficulties. So okay, c2, check on e2, c7 and uh, there is no defend. Uh, 
for white to stop a black to play rook e1 and c1 new queen. That's the reason why white resigned it and we saw beautiful victory of Magnus Carlsen. Uh, yes, of course, uh, white was not the strongest chess player on the world. He is rated around 2500, but still, this is a strong player. And Magnus Carlsen proved that he is one of the strongest chess players on the world. That was a nice game and I think that um, it was a good video. So if I am right, feel free and press like or press follow and made my day. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your time and see you soon. Bye bye.